In this video we are playing BFB Find the Characters, so I'm not going to lie, this is going to be an hour long video nearly. So I have ordered all of the characters by their kind of location, um, and I have been through a series of updates whilst I've been recording and making this video. So there will be some map changes, you may see a few characters appear that wouldn't be in the background of the map, so that is the reason why. There are now 252 characters to find in this game. If you do get stuck with any of the characters, please do give me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. If I can also help for your support, if you can hit that subscribe button if it is currently red, just to help me and support my channel, I'd be really grateful. I am going to admit, I do think of myself as a real dinosaur. I don't know what this is. Um, I only found out what these characters were when I had to uh, do a bit of a Google to help me um, answer the quiz. So yeah, I've never watched these episodes or know who these characters are. <laughs> so making our way over the obby now, and of course it's only the nice comments about Ice Cube that will get you over there to go and get bracelety. If you do like um, those episodes, this is definitely a game for you. Um, alternatively, it, for somebody like me who's a dinosaur and doesn't know anything about this, um, it's still been a really great scavenger hunt. Have truly enjoyed this one. You won't be disappointed. So on the floor you'll see the number 10. So by golf ball, um, aside from the number on the floor, there's a calculator. So there is, every time you see the number on the floor, there is a corresponding teleport that goes with it. So we've made it across the kind of Kilbrick RB to get 10. So here's the calculator just by um, golf ball. So we're going to start off with zero. And again, just by clicking the number, you get teleported through. And uh, that is the most easiest one out of the whole lot. <laughs> they do get harder as the numbers go up. There is one design flaw with this game that I don't like. Um, with so many characters, if you bump into one that you've already got, it will come up with the congratulations, um, but it just comes up with the kind of error message in the bottom right hand corner. I just kind of prefer that it wouldn't let you pick it up at all if you've already got it, um, just because there's so many characters in this game now. I mean, my personal opinion is I do prefer the ones where they disappear because it just makes it so much more easier to know and see which ones you've already got. <laughs> so as you can see, the kind of obby levels are getting slightly harder. And for some weird reason, some of these characters, I had to keep bumping into them to get them. Just another small glitch of this game. But just keep literally walking by them and tapping them until you get the congratulations message up.
Oh, number nine. Okay, so I haven't actually managed to get this one. Um, I'm not sure if there's a glitch for mobile users or not, but obviously the grey floor kills you. But then the white bricks kill me as well. Like, I literally can't move. Um, I've tried getting down as far as I can to see if it's like a time thing. I still can't get far enough to get the um, to get number nine. I can see the rest of the obby course. I have managed to find one little spot that temporarily didn't kill me, and I've stood exactly still, <laughs> and then it killed me. Um, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on with this one. But if you press number nine and you're lucky enough to be able to get through, let me know. <laughs> let me know if this is just a glitch for me or if it's somebody else. Maybe they just don't want me to get number nine, I don't know. So this is the quiz that I mentioned, so you have to get the right name or the right answer in order to open up the next section. Quite easy for the characters because you can load the index up and see the names of the ones that you're either missing or you've got already. As the index shows here it will show you on a grayer background the ones that you haven't got I have had a glitch though with some of these so a speaker box one and um, the new coggy uh, remain as being gray for me on my index list For some strange reason, Lithium didn't like the capital letter. So this is where I had to crack out good old Google because I have no idea, I've never seen this. <laughs> so thanks to Google, um, I did manage to, through a process of elimination, find some of these answers. where I'm kind of going what is it like I've literally listed the three they've listed I'm furiously re-googling and searching through to try and find out which one it should be <laughs> And this is where obviously the um, autocorrect didn't like the episode or season names to this show. Again, didn't like it with a mixture of capitals and non-capitals, so you're going to have to put that all in capitals to get that one to work. And this is where it's a bit sneaky, because when it comes up on the front page of the game, it'll say by BFD, uh, BFDI Games. Um, the owner of this game is actually called Disgusting Pepsi. So yeah, that quiz was pretty hard for me as I know nothing about this um, show at all. <laughs>
So this is an area where you will see some of the changes that I mentioned from the updates because this was the first time I played the game. And then I had to keep going back because they kept putting more characters in this area. So we have um, the old pillow on the end of this kind of structure. And as you can see, it does just take a couple of times to get some of these characters. Again, don't know whether that's a glitch for me or for everybody. A tad annoying. Some of these teleports will require you to kind of click on the item. I don't know why that kind of looks like a big bowl or bucket full of vomit. <laughs> Doesn't look the most advertising colour with the kind of sludge green. And with this game, what I've noticed in a couple of the updates is that they have some characters dotted around that don't do anything, so you can walk up to them, you can't collect them. So when I first played this game, Frisbee there had the smile on, but it didn't collect, and then in a future update you could then collect it. So this one was a bit confusing for me, so I've paid um, work in a pizza place, so I knew the concept, you picked up the stuff and then you, you made whatever, it's going to be a fish taco. Um, with this one, um, there might be a level of, um, of kind of, there might be a level of how far along that somebody's actually managed to make the taco. Um, so you click the taco to get the ingredients. So you put it on the table, so you've got a tortilla, you've got to pick up lettuce, tomato and fish. So you get the lettuce and the fish and then you'll see the door open in the background. Something that I missed the first time that I made the taco. <laughs> and it will, it is on a timer so you do have to get there. But if you've still got the ingredients, if you've picked them up from the conveyor belt, you can just quickly make another taco and then run for the door. Proudly still holding my piece of fish. And to get out the teleports, um, you just need to tell use the teleport menu on the bottom of the screen there. So as I said, to get into these teleports, you either need to click on the taco or you click on the bath bag. We don't really use the word bath here, we use say vomit or sick. Not a way to promote vegetables, death by leak, death by vegetables. <laughs> but we will have a very dizzy leak at the bottom. Here's Coggy that doesn't actually go um, kind of it's collected in my index. So when you have the bracelet you can go and collect touch tone and get teleported. You need to pick up the can of paint whilst you're on this level. I 
and then you just paint the silver robot red and then you can go ahead and collect it. So here's obviously where you'll see. I have tried to sandwich the new videos in the appropriate section of the, <laughs> the older video, but you, that's where you will just see like some of the characters appearing, disappearing because it's obviously my old versus new video. But hopefully you can still follow where I am and, and where these characters will be for you. There's never an actual character called Buttslide Man. <laughs> So moving round into the, is it teapot or TPOT section? Loads of characters in this kind of hotel reception. In one of the newest updates, we have the inclusion of Cat Piano. So there's uh, an example of one of the characters that I couldn't collect. VHS -y. like generations like the newer generations wouldn't even know what VHS was like I grew up on VHS <laughs> so by clicking the kind of blank salt lamp um, then you can actually bring the proper salt lamp character up And I will say for the game, like, it was kind of a bit bare um, when I first played it, but I was still playing it and enjoying it. But I would say the kind of more and more characters that they've added, the kind of more enjoyable this game has become, it doesn't look as bare and as blank. Somebody's looking very happy with themselves, like, yes, made it to the blue level. Versus the football player who's kind of smashing his head against the, the door there. <laughs> I forgot my key. <laughs> get a nice view on top of the hotel of all the different maps of this game.
what's nice about this game as well is that the characters are, are kind of a decent size so for the beginners of scavenger hunt um, and for the younger players they should be able to find the characters um, reasonably easily I have played some games um, like Find the Cups where the some of the characters are minute and so hard to find. I mean, this TV show or episodes, whatever it is, has the most randomest selection of characters I think I've seen. <laughs> mm. By clicking on the blue block on the floor, we get teleported here. And what was a good improvement was moving those buttons away from the left hand side and putting them on the bottom for the newer updates of this game. For a mobile user that is a really great um, kind of edit to the layout of the screen. So to get the puffball speaker, you have to pick up the are you okay blocks. And then when you highlight them, you can see that you can put them down. But they are on a timer, so they will disappear. So my advice for this one is to kind of make a little ladder that you can quickly go one, two, three and hop up. Obviously this is just my gameplay and what I found easiest, you can get these whatever way you want to. Oh, anchor. So I walked past this one numerous times, didn't really look down, but I'm like, that's a bit of a random darker square in the floor. Um, and I looked down and saw this character and it just took me a little while and a bit of wiggling to actually be able to fit down this hole. So don't give up, persevere, um, just keep trying and you will fit down there and drop down to go and get anchor. Moving into the next section of BFB uh, pre-split.
this was a really random area to be teleported to um it's really big but like for no reason apart from for roboty um, there was nothing on the lower levels i saw the bricks to jump across to go and like look at the waterfall there was nothing there <laughs> um, maybe somewhere to start putting some more characters just seems a bit of a waste of effort if you built such a great kind of teleport and there's hardly anything in there Some of these characters were a real pain in the bum to get. Um, they took me quite a few attempts to actually just keep tapping and walking on them to get them. So from the index, that's a toilet, and that's really like unhygienic for Bommy to be eating in a toilet. Uh. And you've got exploding David the other side. Not really what you want in a toilet, two explosive characters in there. This is a fairly long rope to climb, so bear with me. Whenever I climb these kind of things, I always feel like one of those kids in the back seat of a car on a journey. Oh, I'm nearly there yet. <laughs> so we can just see the character now coming into sight at the top. And obviously you can drop down if you can catch the rope again, but there, if you're on the wrong side of the rope to get some of the characters, you'll have to make sure that you go back up and get them. Luckily, just hit snowball then. And this was the other character that I passed that we didn't collect on the way up. I don't know why these kind of stairs made me suddenly like float about <laughs> so just be careful when you're climbing them
Does anybody know what the drawings are on the side of some of these buildings? Like there's a drawing on the hotel. There's a drawing on these stairs. Um, they didn't do anything, but I'm like, not a teleport or whatever, but I'm just interested what they are. If you do know, leave it in a comment out of my curiosity. Again, you'll just have to be careful going on off the cloud to get Old Bell. Making our way back up the stairs again. So there's not much actual grass but on the one kind of blade that's sticking up you do need to walk across it and you will get teleported and grassy and old grassy are in this teleport this is another area that's kind of quite vast with nothing in it so there are literally like three characters right by the edge, sorry, four characters now right by the edge of the ocean. The rest of it is really bare, um, so I don't know whether they'll do anything with that area. Obviously, I've not seen the show, so I don't know how in keeping having like maybe some underwater characters would be. Moving around to the kind of diner area. And there are loads of characters in this area. So the spray can was an addition, so I've just kind of had to wedge that update video <laughs> in with evidence bag. You'll now see a bee just by the fridge, so if you open the fridge you can get honey pot. Um, but again, this one was really, really difficult to collect. Well, it was for me anyway, as I'm showing you now. So that is actually a fan and if you just walk into it there are two little areas to this so we've got a convey about with Fanny uh, yeah that I wouldn't use that name um, not in the UK anyway <laughs> um, that word is uh, for a, a woman's part <laughs> That's why I'm laughing like a school child when somebody has a name like that. Um, in Rainbow Square's hand is a marker. If you click on the marker, you will get teleported. Outside the diner, you've got old remotes and battery. But it looks like batteries stealing the rem the batteries out of the old remote. <laughs> and you've got Pillow kind of looking longingly into the diner window there.
So going down the hole that Boom Mike is looking into. And I don't know if you guys noticed that on the way down, but I did, but there was a lighter square as we fell down. There it is. Oh, and inside we have bottle. A new edition of Princess Hat when you first drop down the hole. And Skull is another one from the latest update which takes us to 252. And so you can see there this is the older video because Skull isn't there. I did not want to restart the video all over again just because there was another update. So you'll have to forgive me just sandwiching the new videos into the older one. As I said before, if you do have any questions or if you are struggling to find any of the characters, do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if you do have a recommendation for any games that you think I should try, or if you need any help with any other games, do drop me a comment on these also and I will get them on the list to record. So Dora is pretty cheeky. So when you fall down to marker, there's a gap. So when you're going down the truss, just keep an eye out and you'll see the split where you can jump through and go and get Dora. There they are. So where remote is and it's pushing like a ball thing, but inside is loser. Not very nice character name. Moving around to the post split area now. Backpack is happily driving his uh, cardboard shuttle. But on the latest update, Baby has now been included um, along with Backpack. You have got the wire there, but you can make the jump um, without using it. I don't know. I don't know if this is a court or kind of the town hall, but there's quite a few characters in here. these are like the members of the jury Here is another one of the new characters, Globy. So don't go away from four. Um, if you actually click on him, and this will teleport you through to here, and we can get negative four. 
Again, it's one of those silly ones I've had to dance around with in order to get it. And we have pie on top of the kind of four trees. I do like that little touch there. All the treetops kind of look like the number four character. And then we also have a door in this teleport. And it says exit, but it's not the exit. So it's the external, I think it said external algebra class with four. <laughs> And we have the students doing their homework or very chilled out pencil at the back there. I'm sure the 22% match. Turn around, face the front, listen. <laughs> Nearly missed the clock. bit of a random building because copper plates just sat there and then the building's really empty I don't even know what that building's supposed to be I mean the map is simplistic I'm not gonna lie it's not very kind of detailed um, but it still works One of the, the other new characters located on the kind of hillside here. Big rotating building, but the building doesn't actually rotate. <laughs> That would be pretty cool if the actual building top rotated. So I've called this area Big Oven. It doesn't actually have a name, but you can't miss it. There's just a massive oven um, in this area. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but the kind of tennis racket looking thing um, will teleport you into space. So lithium is actually at the back of the kind of moon. I did notice this little kind of UFO, so I'm wondering if it's kind of an alien one. And this takes you through to go and get the speaker boxes. Now, I mentioned before that I had some that got stuck in my index. Um, two were from this area. I think I went back after the next update and managed to collect them uh, in order to get them onto my index. So that's where the grey background then goes away. And um, we just need to go and collect lithium. And the oven's just another one of those places that 
There's just nothing in there. There's like Lollipop and that's it. There's no other characters in this oven. Um, I don't know if there's going to be inclusion of some more characters or not. I don't know how many more characters the show could possibly have. We're already at 252. Please don't make a big deal out of a melted lollipop in front of you. Mm. <laughs> Moving into BFDIA. I'm glad that they've started to fill in um, some of the characters in this area. When I first played this game, this was really empty, um, so it's really nice to see some more characters going into this area now. LED looking very pleased with themselves. I don't know what's going on with Spatula and what's supposed to be coming out in the middle of it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like vomit or something? <laughs> oh dear me. It might make some kind of sense to somebody who's watched the show, but to me that's just random. So when you bump into Evil Leafy, you will get teleported through to this obby. So tune is down here, so unfortunately you're going to have to kill yourself and run all the way back. You can obviously use the teleport as a bit of a shortcut. And I'm not going to lie, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this obby. So this bit is fine, you know, to make our way across carefully. And then you come to this button. So press the button, it goes yellow. No other buttons that I can see, unless it's timed and I'm not being quick enough, I don't know. Obviously I haven't seen it. But then I come across here and I can't get across this purple brick. I just fall through it. Am I not being quick enough? But I've tried. Like I've tried being super quick and I still haven't made it. Um, but Lego is at the back of that obby. So good luck. <laughs> making our way across the spikes and don't worry if you drop down there you're not going to oof um, you can wander around the spikes as much as you like um, but you will just have to teleport out to restart and moving into our final section now of IDFB And we remember this character from the quiz, Deadly. Uh, 
Again, another pain to pick up. Eventually we do get a snowball gun. But in its contents there right next to the bath bag so we'd have to call it sick bag we really don't use bath here in the uk There's a new edition of Fry, um, which is in this area. And again, just bump into the doors, you'll get teleported to the top of the tower. A nice aerial view of this map area. Although not very many characters up here. got a nice addition of the science museum so in this area you can't really go into any of the buildings it's the only one you can walk into not sure why two nickel is got a picture of frisbee that's a bit peculiar don't like that character name as well i wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be called bozo <laughs> That in the UK would be kind of like you're a bit of an idiot to call someone a bozo. So there's one um, that you have to type in the chat which is maybe. The hint says it all, just go into the chat and type in maybe. So we're going to make sure we type it exactly as it's there with no capitals and we get teleported in. So obviously I haven't got nine and Lego. Um, the other missing ones seem to be event ones from what I can gather and a VIP. So the shopping cart is the VIP one and then we've got a gingerbread, um, a pumpkin and a Valentine's Day one. Um, so I'll have to try and log on to the game at these points to collect those. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you soon. Bye.